we're at the Opera House, Sydney Opera House, and we're putting on a night, Siberian night, and uh, Midnight Juggernauts are going to be test flying a new show called Aerials, which is um, going to be an audio-visual spectacular, so it's lots of production going on, we've got projections, and it's like one of these immersive environments which is coming together for the first time this evening, so we'll see if it works. There's lots going on. I just had a really good conversation with the guy that controls the lasers. Yeah, well, usually we, we have like more of a traditional kind of drums based guitar with electronics, like lots of electronic bits and pieces, but um, there is like that traditional rock kind of V, you know what I mean? And this show, I don't know if you can see it, or there's basically just like a ton of gear, all electronic gear that we've um, amassed over the years and it's almost like bringing like a studio kind of onto the stage and I guess Vin and I have got two different like controllers, a roller and mini controllers. We are using the System 1 and the TR8. Um, got a bunch of boss pedals. Yeah, lots of boss pedals. But it's pretty, it's funny looking at it. It's how pretty heavy, heavy roll it is. Yeah, this is a real combination of things we've gear that we have for a long time and then brand new things which we're really using for the first time like the new rolling stuff so the system one mainly we've programmed a bunch of patches that we can like uh, you know tweak during the show but we've pretty much used up all the patches i imagine i guess the first impressions of it are it's it's really versatile like we the way we're programming it you know we're using it to do kind of pads but then it's pretty capable as a bass kind of synth as well so it's kind of got a nice, it sounds nice and kind of digital in a really good way, like it's, it like sounds modern, yeah, it's got a very modern sound, which I really like. Um, and then the TR8, we're doing, I've, I've created like different patches for each song and different kits for each song, so we, we're using like a ton of different sounds. And then we've also using two of the external ends, so we've got like like a, like a dual oscillator kind of noise pedal going into one end. And the SPDS goes into the other, and then we're using sidechain on on those inputs, um, and then we're running MIDI to to the um, TRA through like a sequence a sequencer, which also runs MIDI out to like a bunch of other gear. So it's it's pretty much being used in its complete functionality, and in the way we play it, it's like I'm, I'm changing the tuning, the decay, the, you know, whether the stuff on. I'm changing the programs as we're going, like an instrument recording or I'm like doing like the traditional like 808 programming. It's really great um, and I found it's really useful as well because I can go to like the instrument play mode and see what's happening like as opposed to the old like 808s and 909s. It's much easier to kind of like work out what you need to change in a, in a live kind of setting. Um, I'm sure there's like some subtle differences but I think um, I think to, unless you're like number one sound guru in the world or something. You unless you're a movie. Yeah, unless you're a movie, you're never going to be in my opinion.